All right, so now that we're on a road and I got a little bit of gap between my next turn, hello everyone, Matt here, and you're watching TS Moto Adventures. Today, we are doing a roadbook rally. Oh boy, it's my first official roadbook event ever. Uh, and this is the uh, mock rally by Zacker Adventures. If that name sounds familiar, that's because Todd's a super cool guy and does a lot of really awesome training and uh, things like this. So, uh, when I saw that he was doing this again, I, I missed uh, the last two that I did. I, I had to jump on it and I had to do it. So, we're out here in Greenville, Virginia right now. Uh, we're starting off at Penn Merrill Farm. Awesome place to ride. Really cool place to stay. Highly recommend. It's a super nice morning out. It's like really low 60s. A little humid, but not too bad. This is fun. I'm already enjoying this. So I decided to do the adventure loop this morning. Um, I was gonna do the dual sport one, and then a bunch of people were kind of bailing over to the adventure one. And I thought about it for a little bit, and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of in the mood for an easier day today. I didn't get a ton of sleep last night. Kind of had a hard time falling asleep in the trailer. So I'm uh, I'm doing the adventure route, which still is gonna be super fun. It's not gonna be as challenging, but. Sometimes you just gotta ride for fun, not to challenge yourself all the time. Like, at Blackwater, I definitely challenged myself and that was definitely worth it. And next weekend, I'm doing some more challenging stuff too. So, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It'll, you know, we'll take it easy this weekend. It's been a long week, really long hours, back-to-back uh, -back shows. So, I'm, I'm excited to kind of take it easy. So, that was our 6.3 mark here. So, when this road ends, we're taking a right on Route 252. That's at 7.42 miles. I have this little thing to advance the um, the roadbook, but every time I hit the play button, it uh, it just screws up and <laughs> doesn't advance it. It just like takes priority out of the app. So I'm just tapping along with my finger here. Oh well. And then when I get to uh, when I get to my fuel stop. My mandatory fuel stop. I gotta stop. I gotta get a receipt. It's required. Um, I'll reset the mileage on the the app here. But the DRZ is pretty easy to reset mileage up and down. So it's a little crazy when they're all like stacked up on top of each other, like they were at the start. It's kind of why I wasn't talking that much because I was like, all right, where the hell am I going? Let me figure this out. Also, I can't advance it. What the hell's going on? So now. Uh, now that we're spaced out a little bit more, it's a little easier, thankfully. So we're going to be coming up on this turn in a little bit. The riding out here, down in this area of Virginia, is so cool. This is a lot of like George Washington and Jefferson National Forest land out here. Super duper pretty. And it's really fun to ride in. And I haven't been over here since last May uh, when I took uh, my, my very first adventure riding course with uh, Todd and Zachary Adventures, actually. Uh, and I <laughs> I haven't been back to Penmerel Farm since then, and I've, I have dropped my bike so much on that farm. Coming back, it was like, yikes! But no, 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 no. I'm, I've become a significantly more skilled rider since then, and that was right after I got the DRZ, so... It's actually really cool to, to think about the progress that I've made in that amount of time. Look at that view. See, this is this is so pretty. This is what it's about, man. I love this stuff. I'm gonna because that's not quite 13.4 on here. So I'm gonna go up a little bit just to be sure. Thirteen point. yeah, see, uh-huh. That's why he didn't put the road name in there. He wants to throw you off a little bit. Second guess yourself. Smart man. Real test will be at 14.6 if uh, if we got that. 
curve to the left with an offshoot to the right. Guess we'll find out in a mile. Yep. Hell yeah. We went the right way. <laughs> I'm happy. That makes me happy. Oh look, there's some fellow riders up there. Wonder if I'm catching up to people. 19.1, route on uh, 688, 668, something like that. I don't know, it's bouncing around a little too much. There's a school or church? Church, there's a church there. Ah, uh, this church right here, it looks like. Nineteen point seven. We go pavement to gravel. Yeah, we're coming up on another rider here. Oh, you know, some of this is apparently part of the MABDR, so I'm curious because. The two guys that were grouped together had black jackets. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. <laughs> So, we are back on the road, fueled up. Uh, basically, a bunch of the riders uh, all kind of ended up at that fuel stop at the same time, which is good. It means we're all making making this similar time, so that's cool. Uh, past the first guys, and I got two ahead of me right now, which is not necessarily uh, a bad thing because of timing so there there's an expected time to be close to for all of this and right now it's very possible that i'm ahead of that expected time we'll just keep rolling though
stuff. This is why I ride. I say this every time I come up on a view like this. I love this stuff, and this is why I ride. It is super foggy rolling through this one lane road up to Reddish Knob here. But we're almost at the end. I passed another guy, so I'm curious to see how well we've done. <laughs> I'm sure this would be a really cool view if I could see, but we're up in the fucking clouds right now. It's still early enough in the day where a bunch of this stuff hasn't burned off yet. Uh, this is my keep left. And then 77.49, so we're almost done. It's like the longest minute of my life. <laughs> it's really long for you stand here for 20 minutes. Yeah, right? So, what I found out during our lunch stop there is my time for the first stage is almost exactly what it needs to be. I'm like 30 seconds fast, which is pretty legit. I'm actually super excited about that. Uh, right now, at least for the times I heard, I am doing the best on keeping to the time we're supposed to keep to, which we do not know what that time is uh, intentionally, actually. I very much so don't want to know what that time is because I'd rather just ride how I ride and enjoy myself. But I know that the riding that I did this morning is spot on. So if I just kind of stick to that, I should be pretty solid. And my riding this morning was pretty on par with what I normally do. It's a little faster through some stuff than I usually am, but like nothing too crazy. Like towards the end, I was kind of quick through some of the twisties there, but like, you know, whatever. They were fun twisties to be quick through.
There's our guys that left first. Those guys are cool. I was talking to them for a little bit. They got DR650s. Wash off a little bit of speed through this turn. Definitely wash off some speed going through this and downshift a little bit. came through here and like took it right there. Interesting. Oh yeah, gravel to pavement. 9.8. We're good. At 10, we're going to stop and take a left. Dogs. Come on, bud. That was our left turn. 16.4, we're gonna keep straight. I like dogs. Dogs don't like motorcycles all the time though, unfortunately. They get a little barky-worky. I totally overshot a turn by like two miles because I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. We're back on track now. That's what matters. 37.6, yep, turned into gravel. So next up, 38.9. We're taking a right on Forest Road 77. Curious how many people I ended up behind because of this, but oh well. I was originally behind like two people before. That was my keep straight. And at 46, we're taking a left. Actually, let's back off a little bit. There we go. I see some dust settling. That means we're probably coming up on someone. that in video sweet <laughs> oh oh look at that that is fucking pretty holy shit <laughs> now we're going down the other side oh, dude this is pretty we are up here That view, ho ho ho. Yeah. Also, now it's freaking hot out. It was cold this morning, and we stopped for lunch, and it was windy and cold and foggy. Now it's like sunny and warm. 
Ugh. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Ow! Holy shit! <sighs> Ow! That's what I get for not paying attention. Oof! <sighs> <sighs> oh. <sighs> Once again, I've landed on my right shoulder. We'll see how much that fucking hurts later. Kind of hurts a little bit right now. <sighs> I'm gonna use this opportunity. Swap the battery in the camera. <sighs> yeah, so. Shoulder definitely hurts a little bit. But. We will. Power on. Just means work stuff's gonna suck. Ugh. That one definitely bent my handlebars. Yeah. I think my, my bars are definitely tweaked. Well, I wanted a new set of bars anyway. It's gonna make the rest of this ride kind of shitty. Oof, yeah. Well, we're just gonna take it easy. Yeah, I was gonna order some new bars anyway, but this definitely is accelerating that order. Take a look at it when I get back to the farm, but oh well. No major damage, not a rally stopper. That's all that matters. My shoulder's definitely going to be upset in the morning. So, there's that. I may have to see how we feel when I get back. I may, I may pack up and roll out so I can sleep a little more comfortably tonight. I don't know. We'll see. i put this visor back down a bit. Stop getting crap in my eyes. I think my bars were already kind of bent a little bit. So, you know, not a huge deal. 52.8. We want to keep right. Something, yeah, either my bars or something on the front end's a little fucky wucky. You know what I just realized? I have a rally <laughs> literally next weekend. So I need to get new bars ordered tonight so they show up in time so I could literally redo everything. Huh? <laughs> All right, well, guess we'll, guess we'll figure that one out. Yeah, my shoulder doesn't feel too bad. That's the third time now, if y'all are counting. That I have landed on my right shoulder. And, uh, swear to God, one of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, get an x ray or some shit, and my doctor's gonna be like, You need surgery! Keep ready, 52.8. Yeah, so that was probably that. Uh, 53.7 was gonna be like a triangular intersection. We're gonna keep right on that. Yeah, man. Something's fuck on this front end. Big, yeah, the, these bars are bent. 100% bars are bent. It is not a rally unless I drop my bike. Oh, the views back there were so pretty, and then we turn going this direction where there's not as pretty views. So, sorry, I kind of missed showing you them, but I'm sure there's going to be some more pretty views soon. Um, we're about 30 miles from the end here. Uh, see, I told you there'd be more pretty views. Oh, uh, my shoulder's not hurting too bad, which is good. Um, I can definitely feel it, so um, you know, taking it easy. It's a, uh, it's a little weird navigating with the bars bent like this, but also I've kind of gotten used to that already after just a bunch of switchbacks, so not too bad. Um, I'm hoping it's just the bars that are bent. I, I have to take a look at the entire front end once I'm back. Um, 
because if it's more than the bars and it needs some work, then we're probably riding the KLX next weekend. It'll be the first like official rally of the KLX, if that's the case. I brought it to two rallies, but I haven't actually ridden it on any of the routes, so we'll see what happens, I guess. 69.6, we're taking a right at a stop sign. Six nine point seven four. Taking a left at this stop sign. Watch out for traffic here. Nothing left. Nothing right. We good. Taking a right at seventy two miles on Route Six Eighty Two. I haven't run into any more riders since the last one that I passed, so I'm sure they're way ahead of me at this point then. Uh, which is fine, actually, because I feel like that helps me, because uh, uh, it makes me feel like I'm more accurate to the time that I should be, because those guys were too fast this morning. so. We'll see how it all evens out when I get back, but I'm feeling like I'm doing all right. I, I feel like I'm keeping a similar pace to what I did this morning, um, especially with like the my fuel stop where I went to the bathroom, got something to drink, and then also my uh, accidental going out of the way and uh, my drop. So I think uh, I think I'm keeping a fairly similar pace. We are in the final stretch here. How's it going? 